Welcome back to another video guys. We are officially on the next episode of my project E39 M5. This is so far the farthest I've ever driven it and the longest I've ever driven it. I've only been in for about 10 minutes. I'm currently on the way to a fabrication shop of somebody independent that I've known for a long time but this will be my first time getting some work done. We are going to get exhaust made for the E39 M5. We are of course going to do it custom. As you can probably not hear, this car is extremely quiet and there's no noise at all. My favorite exhaust setup is doing a cat delete with a muffler delete, but going to this independent fabricator, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get, should be already, we already talked about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and see about getting little pipes put in for the cat delete that have V-bands, so basically it's a removable cat delete and that way if I ever need smog or emissions or anything I don't have to sit there with O2 spacers and trying to get a tune for smog and all this other stuff that people struggle with this car will sh hopefully just have removable cats and the little test pipes basically is what it's going to be so we're going to go ahead and drop the car off for him he said same day turnaround about three hours it's currently about 6 30 or 6 40 at night We'll go ahead and pass through the strip. I just worked a 13 hour shift and we're gonna drop this bad boy off. Hopefully by the end of the night, we got an amazing sounding E39 M5 cause I can't stand this car being absolutely stock. So, got about 15 more minutes of a drive. This is literally the farthest and the most I've ever driven this car in the entire ownership and all the work we've done. But I'm excited to get this done. I haven't had an actual good sounding E39 M5 in a while. It's probably been like a year, if not more. So we're gonna finally get one and I'm excited. <laughs> one last quick sound clip. Little update, I drove all the way to the exhaust shop, 30 minutes away from home, forgot the exhaust tips. So I went back home, now we're in the F80, going back to the exhaust shop to drop off the tips. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it the same night. He said he would like four times, even when I got there, he said he'll do it the same night, should be no problem. As soon as I got home to grab the exhaust tips, he's like, oh man, you wanna just come back tomorrow? I'll just finish it tomorrow. But man i'm trying to get a thing tonight we'll see right now what he says if he has an update now he's had the car for like probably almost an hour now hopefully he's already made some progress and will have a better eta for me but we're like 10 minutes away so we're gonna drop off these tips and then i guess go back home once again we're back almost 24 hours later going to pick up the m5 it was not an overnight job I don't know what exactly ended up happening, uh, but he called me last night saying that he could not finish or he would prefer not to finish that night. So whatever the case is, we're driving to go pick it up. We are in typical Las Vegas traffic. Welcome to Vegas if anybody is not from here. This is what you get all day, every day, all days of the week. But we're about 10, 15 minutes away, so I'm not sure if the car is still gonna be on the lift and I'll be able to film under the car and show you what happened or if it's already gonna be outside waiting for me. Hopefully it's just outside waiting for me and I can leave. Uh, either way, I'll show you guys as best as I can what he did and what's under the car. And then of course, we'll get some sound videos and let you know how the final product is. I wasn't able to get a full before and after, but it's a stock M5. Most of you watching either have one, had one, or know of one. So it's really nothing impressive or nothing remarkable. So we'll base it off of 100% stock to what it is now. We have successfully picked up the car and we are catless and mufferless and it is some real mid. I took it to the professional fabricator to hopefully get a more quality and a more custom job and avoided you know the cheap muffler shops but but at the end of the day I should have just took it to the muffler shop around the corner it would have been the exact same thing it probably would have been 
a lot cheaper and it would have been the exact same thing i thought it would have been a lot more custom work and a look a lot better um i provided the tips and honestly i'm not a fan at all i think they look ricey and they look i don't know they just don't look the best um i might be swapping those out but i don't know maybe they'll grow on me or not but they just look a little off um it's because i try to do i think the three inch tips are a little small or i think i don't know i think stock is like two and a half or two, 2.75, something like that. And I thought it was a little small. So I upped it up to three and a half and it just looks a little off, a little big, a little ricey, it's not my favorite. So we might swap that out. And to be honest, the car doesn't sound as good as I remember or as good as I thought it would be. But I've been driving basically this car stock and that's the only thing I've heard in the longest. So I'm just not used to it again. We'll see, it should grow on me. It should be a lot better. Um, this used to sound absolutely amazing to me. It still sounds great, but I haven't really got on it or anything. Sounds a little weird too, because we got the echo of the barriers. And I'm trying to, I'm paranoid. I don't want any exhaust leaks. He's like, oh, I didn't have anybody with me to check for exhaust leaks. So I just used the mirror when I was in the car and I didn't check really, but it should be good. Shouldn't be any problems. So uh, that's not very uh, assuring. So I'm gonna check myself and make sure that the, at least the cat leak isn't leaking and that everything is good. But we'll see, let me get it home. I'll see if I can get you some more sound clips, but we're not in the best area right now for the sound clips. So I'll see when I get home, if it can get a little better. feel about this these exhaust tips look a little ricey I don't know if it's the fitment or if it's just they look too big or if I don't know what it is it's just not my favorite I don't like it I feel like it doesn't fit it looks a little ricey it looks good from certain angles and then from other certain angles it looks absolutely terrible m5 back in the garage let's we'll start off with an area i can easily access you're going to be very unimpressed as i was coming into the muffler delete this is literally <laughs> i mean the the welds look great but that's it that's all we got some hangers some welds and that's it cut off right there but it looks a little better than one of the cheap exhaust shops as far as the weld goes, but the piping and everything else is exactly the same. But there's really not much you can expect from that. And I ran over something, or somebody else somebody else did, that's very old. Coming into the cat delete, that's what we got. I paid $400 for the cat delete and the muffler delete. I got all the stock stuff in the trunk I still need to take out, but we're a little tight on space, especially with this thing in the way. Uh, we really don't have that much space in here. So let me know what you guys think. I, I went back and looked at some older videos. The black E39 M5 I had sounded way better. Up to me, I thought the silver M5s with this exact setup sounded absolutely amazing. And then I had the black M5 which was the exact same thing, but it was just some aftermarket mufflers instead of muffler delete. I thought that car, uh, it wasn't that great, but now looking back, that sounds amazing. This is some real mid. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Hopefully the sound clips kind of show you and represent what we're talking about. Let me know what you guys think, what your guys' thoughts are, and that's about it for this video, basic as it gets. 
M5 now has exhaust, now sounds pretty decent in the mid range idles. It sounds a little, sounds like a V6. Um, top range is a little raspy and a little, little, I don't know, just sounds a little off. But this car needs a bunch of work. This car needs a bunch of work now. Now all this, I don't know which order I'm gonna upload these videos, but this, I did some work on this car. It's not perfect, but we got the ZHP knob to go into this car as well. And I got a leather shift boot coming in from Naughty Auto Parts. Hopefully that fits good. And then we'll have a good shifter in this car because I don't like the stock one piece. But that's about it for this video. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. We got some more coming for this car. We got some parts kind of laying around for both. So episodes on all three cars actually will be coming out pretty shortly. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I appreciate you. We'll be back soon. Stay tuned, and I'll be back. Later, guys.